and the winning super fan is... Arushi! In this episode of Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, winner Arushi transformed her dad's Maruti minivan into the Jaipur jewel of her childhood dreams. It's just bringing all these memories, just sitting in this car. I hope my family is very proud of me. And I'm proud of you guys. Arushi and her carpool took her mini to the max with the built custom mandala, hand-sewn Indian textiles, and talk about using the twist from the Inspirationator 5000. Y'all have to remove at least one part from its original location on the car and put it somewhere else or infuse the Diora 2 body shape in some way. They cut a second van in half and welded it to the back of her van. Then they cut the entire top off animated the mandala and added a huge V8 in the very back. This is 100% original. Yes. This earned Arushi a key to the finale for a chance to create the next Hot Wheels diecast. This is a win for my son and my dad. Right now, join our panel of car experts, celebrity guest judge, and me, Rutledge Wood, as we debate which wheels will cruise into the finale and who will ride above to become the next Hot Wheels diecast. It's an unbelievable moment. Have you seen anything like this ever? <laughs> Isn't this amazing? This is Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge Best Builds. Hey everybody, welcome to the Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge after show. We got Dalal, Hurt, I'm Rut. You guys, we just saw a tiny van get stretched into a six wheel van and Arushi now has a key to the finale. Tell me how much you love that Jiper Jewel. I love it so much, but honestly, this whole week I have been on the edge of my seat. I have never seen builds like this. I mean, Arushi took her van, cut the end off, added another van to it, made it a six wheeler, and then like cut off a third of the top. I mean, what a transformation we have gone through with her. And then you have the interior that she has spent so much time on becoming essentially part of the exterior. I mean, the thing is sick. The colors are just so vibrant. It's no longer just metal and plastic and fabric. It's a beautiful memory, and I'm very moved by it. The question I always ask myself is, how do you make a van cool? Well, Arushi has the answer. You add two more wheels to it, you add a big V8 in the back of it, you paint it wild colors, put a mandala in the back of it, and just tell your story the best way that you can, even if you didn't grow up loving cars. Hey, I feel like vans have always been cool, all right? I love that Maruti from the start when it was bone stock, but maybe that's just me. I mean, here's what's tricky for me. I'm looking at that Maruti Suzuki, and I have at home the right-hand drive Suzuki every of that same van, same dimension, same everything. But the Cadillac Coupe de Ville is on my list. Like, I have looked for one, but they've gone so much up in value that I've never been able to grab one. My dad, this was the first big purchase, like everything he had. He was an American, he got a Cadillac. Same with my mom. She always said the Cadillac represented right being successful in America. And then I watched Felix turn his into a skate park. Is it actually skatable? It's only one way to find out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, Felix. Finally. First off, Felix, as a retired pro skater, rips still. I think he's had two knee surgeries. And like, that guy was amazing. How cool was that to see in the garage? Okay, I know he told us that he can skate and he does it professionally, but why was I still so surprised to see him do it? And then to do it on top of a Cadillac, no less, and then skate over it and then right past us, I mean. One thing about being a part of the drift community is most people involved know how to skate or BMX or do something extreme. I'm not one of those people, <laughs> but I can imagine bringing this car to a drift event and how crazy everyone would go there. It's wild. I mean, when you looked at the Jiper Jewel, I think what's so cool about Arushi is she brought not only her family and her family's history, but her love of her culture with her. You know, the way that she talks about her Indian heritage and culture and how that came through in every corner of this build, I mean, that's the most color and texture we've seen yet. I want to pull from the textiles of India and make it a really, really cozy space. I mean, if I was holding a key to the finale right now, and I just saw Arushi make that Maruti van into this six-wheeler 
with a V8 in the back, I'd be nervous. What about you? Oh, I would be shaking in my boots. Are you kidding me? I think that has got to be my favorite build that we have seen so far. Yeah, I also really like the way that Arushi brought in different styles to the build. You know, she drives a Jeep Wrangler at home every day. So she wanted to make sure that it had the big chrome bars, which totally worked, right, with the roll cage. Her husband sold a Mustang GT, so she put a Ford 302 in the back as a little shout out to him. And then everywhere you looked on this van were these wonderful tributes to her dad, who sounds like he was an amazing guy. That car brought so much joy in our lives. I remember those games. I remember him singing songs in the car. You know, as a dad looking at this and just, I feel like I know who your dad was. What a, gosh, what a beautiful thing. You know, one thing that I really love that Arushi accomplished is she made a Hot Wheels that looks fast and it looks aggressive, but it also looks so fun and so sweet and it makes you want to spend time in it. I want to give Felix's team a lot of credit. This was really close. I mean, to take this car and change it so much, to make a functional ramp in the back, you know, to change the lines, to have then the whole car graffitied, but with those bars all the way around that you could either grind on or use the trunk as a ramp. I mean, that was a really smart way to use that twist of the Dior too. So what we gotta do is we gotta take something from the back of the car up to the front. front. We have that trunk lid from the back, which can make a ramp. I feel good about the Dior Hot Wheels twist because I had already freed the entire back of the car and I have all this material to work with. So we're taking the trunk of the car and we're attaching it to the front fender to make a wall ride ramp. So this thing's almost good to go as it is, because if we drop this down to the ground, we already got a little ramp right there. Oh, yeah. But then we saw Arushi's team go, oh, the Dior 2, let's just cut the roof off of this thing. Now, the brilliance there was because they had the two vans of slightly different dimensions, it meant you were going to see the new van that they attached to her original van was a little bit taller and a little bit wider. But when you cut the roof off, and then connect all of it through those box flares, suddenly you couldn't tell the difference in dimension. That was a brilliant move and a use of the twist. Getting the roof off is not going with the process that I came in with, but to win this competition, I need to soak in what the judges just shared. Go for it. It is so easy to look at these builds as they're progressing and go, oh, I'd do this differently or I could have thought of that. But you have to understand that in these garages, when you only have one week, the pressure is on. And not only do you have to come up with a great idea, you have to execute on it. You know, we can't say enough. These carpoolers, what they can do in these garages in a week is insane. I can't believe it. So now I start thinking, okay, how would Arushi do in the finale? We've seen, this is one of the most dynamic builds yet. So how do you think she would stack up in a vehicle that she doesn't have that same emotional connection to? I think Arushi would do great only because she has so much passion, so much drive, and she knows exactly what kind of message she wants to send. And she has no car experience, so that could either hurt her or help her because now she can think outside of the box in a way that maybe the rest of us really can't. Are you thinking a maxi mini van? You want to make it bigger? Yes, yes. But definitely I want to make sure I capture the colors of India in the best way possible. So we have four super fans who have won so far with four different cars, four different stories. Who's going to make it to the finale? You look at Al David with the spirit of Detroit and that K5 Blazer. That thing was cool. You look at Jim with the power charge, the 69 Dodge Charger. Again, cool. Sheila turned a Volkswagen Beetle into the monster bug. And yet, Arushi just did the impossible with a tiny van. I mean, it's so different looking at these four super fans and what they could bring to the finale. This is gonna be wild. You know, only three of our super fans are gonna get a chance to build a completely new car. And out of those three, only one of them is gonna win 50 grand and have that design turned into an actual Hot Wheels diecast car that we can buy. That is some real pressure. I don't know how you choose a favorite right now. I mean, they're, all these builds are so different. I think out of these four, my two favorite probably Jim's Power Charge and Arushi's Jiper Jewel. I just think they're so visually dynamic. They're so different in style. I mean, those two, whew, really pulling at my heartstrings. 
Every time we've done one of these recap shows, Jim has had a strong case to be one of the front runners. But now Arushi has come in the mix with a really bright, a really vibrant, and a really different build that it's not so clear anymore. We thought we knew what we were doing, but now Rushi's come in and reset the whole thing. But we can't forget about Sheila. I mean, she made an incredible build with an amazing transformation, starting out with the VW bug and making a monster bug that she could potentially drift, switching the motor from the back to the front, and making it a V8, those crazy exhausts. I mean, come on. I think that's one of my favorites so far. And I'll agree with you guys, Arushi's was sick. But what about the K5 Blazer? I mean, the spirit of Detroit, every angle you looked at that, you felt that strength, that grittiness of Detroit in one vehicle. That made me proud to live in Detroit. Good. So Arushi is our fourth super fan to join Sheila, Jim, and Al David in the winner circle, brought to you by Xfinity making her eligible to be one of the three super fans to compete in the finale. But who will be our grand prize winner and take home $50,000 and have their design turned into a Hot Wheels die cast? You gotta find out on Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. on NBC and streaming the next day on Peacock. And don't forget to join us for the after show right after. For Hurt and Delal and Rutledge Woods, see you later.